The completionist is our guest on the show, and the show name is Guest Grub. And we're back. Hello. <laughs> welcome back to Game Grubs, everyone. Well, welcome back. Uh, we've got our good friend Gerard back. It's after Thanksgiving now. Yeah, it's been it's been at least two months since we've recorded this. Mm. Uh, I lost my job at G4. Mazel tov. Should have gone to Disneyland with you boys is what I learned. Uh, Wait, were you working there when you came here? Yeah. Really? The, the, the funniest That's part, crazy. guys, the funniest part about me being on here was that at the end of the episode, you were like, hey, come to Disneyland with us. And I was like, oh, I can't. I have to go to G4. And then like... <laughs> Like two weeks later, G4 shut down. <laughs> wow, wow, that's wild. Yeah. Um, well, we're glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm, 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 I'm with the boys. Yeah, you're, you're on our show again. So clearly, yeah. you've landed on your feet. Yeah, yeah I'm doing, all, I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing all right. I'm here to promote my, my newest endeavor. Um, it's got three subscribers. So <laughs> I'm hoping I can uh, get some new ones. Just, just looking for five, maybe six. Maybe five. <laughs> please, 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 please. I heard you're making a cooking channel. Oh, dude, I wish I could cook. That'd be sick. What do you think would be your least successful endeavor after, like, if you just tried to start something new? Something just, like, super destined for failure. <laughs> oh, man. Like a bowling channel or something oh, like that? Dude, it'd be... Oh, that would rip. Well, it would if we could bowl, but we can't. Dude, that's such a good question. I think it had to be something like, uh, I can bowl. Okay, act. You're Please a bowler? Don't, it's not what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think it had to be like, uh, it'd be a React channel. I'd be the worst reactor ever. I'm like, not a good, like, just be like, huh, cool. Neat. Well, that was pretty sick. <laughs> Stone faced the entire time. Yeah. I guess that's fun. It's one of those people that takes like an hour minute to like come up with something. Like, that was like, you're like looking around. <laughs> I liked that. That's pretty cool. Oh, Subscribe was... for more reactions. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was sick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, let me know whose other stuff you want me to steal and, and react to. It'd be great. Thanks for watching. Has it gotten to that point where there are React channels for React videos? I wanted to do that a long time ago. It's such a funny I idea. I wanted to make a reaction channel that only did the Ray William Johnson bits of Ray William Johnson videos. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Well, because he would, he was like the, he was the reactor, man. Like, oh, okay. He, he, he I, I mean, I remember Let's him. check out this video. And then he'd watch it and he'd be like, man, that was wild. Anyway, what's this next video? And I just wanted to take those bits mm -hmm. of him and then react to that. <laughs> and then <laughs> see really how silly. he felt about it. I'm sure he's, 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 he's back, by the way. He's, yeah, he's doing, he's, he's doing, doing the his, same thing. He's doing the same thing, but for YouTube shorts. Good for him. Life finds a way, dude. Yeah. It, Dude, Does he honestly, still have the penis I drew on his set? <laughs> I don't think that building is no longer around. That well, was too many negatives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, D Disney may or may not have demolished it, we don't know. Yeah. I mean, it was just like a warehouse in downtown Marina Del Rey or whatever. Yeah. The, cool the, the YouTube space? That old YouTube space? No, no, the, no, maker, the, office. the maker Studios place. Oh. It's the place you used to work, Dan. I, do, I did work there. Yeah. The place um, where well, we work is a strong term, but I, I, <laughs> was, I was employed there. You, you hung out. We filmed so many things on that set. We filmed a lot of table flips. Yeah. yeah. Um, that Anki Drive deal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of like nice memories from, from that place. <laughs> wasn't there that? Didn't you guys do like a? Uh, maybe we got a turn. Wasn't there a, a deal for uh, for freaking Pacific Rim? Yeah, that was before Dan was on the show. Yeah, oh that, man, that was like, one of the last things we did. What a so weird thing. That I mean, that has to be a full decade ago now. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and we met with Guillermo del Toro. That was where the famous quote of <laughs> when uh, it was like. It was us, and like a bunch of people from Maker, and then Guillermo del Toro walked in the, the meeting room, and everyone was just like dead silent, because it was like, he's very famous, and everybody loves him. And then he was just like, somebody gonna tell a fucking joke or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I love so, him. He's the weirdest version of please clap in the room. Yeah, so I, I, <laughs> I uh, I, I bring that energy to like, meeting rooms now or when I meet somebody that like I look up to I'm just like yeah man fucking just a guy I try to enter every business meeting with a propeller beanie on oh dude you can't get mad at someone with a propeller beanie yep it, it's just instant like what's going on here are we good <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see did you ever see the Kentucky Fried movie 
Mm, no. This is going Holy way- shit. Yeah, right? What, what is this? It was one of the very first- like the- wasn't it the Zucker Brothers? The- the guys who did Naked Gun. I think it was I don't them. Know. Oh man. We're going way back. This is like the 70s. Okay. It was- I, it was- it was part of that whole like- Ass and titties comedy, like, like uh, yeah. college frat boy. I'm sure yeah, you yeah, could yeah. make exactly animal, none of those jokes House, now. Yeah, national, you know, Van Wilder type stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think it would fly now, but yeah. the, at at the time it was super funny. Uh, and there's there's one scene where the woman goes to a guy and she's like, "Show me, show your, me your nuts, show me your nuts." Yeah. Yeah, she's like, "Show me your nuts," and he's like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so it's stupid. Like the only scene I remember from that movie that was from Catholic high school girls in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> show me your nuts. It, yeah, it, it was it was like a bunch of like little vignettes, and it was like it was like the naughty um, VHS that your friend's dad would have, and like <laughs> you and your buds would like watch it on a sleepover, like dude, dad's a Sleep. Now the wolves will play. <laughs> you know, like it's that kind of thing. I, I, I was the friend's dad. I, my, it was my dad. It was your dad that had it. Yeah. Well, my, it was funny too because he wanted to show it to me when I was a child. Because he's like, I love this movie. And then like, there's immediately like just titties out. And then he was like, Oh, okay. Well, maybe we won't watch this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that's the saddest part about watching about watching a thing that's like aged. Like I, basketball was one of my favorite movies growing up. You watch that movie now, and like oh, there's a bunch of like really insensitive unsens jokes about like gay people and and trans people, and you're like, oh man, like kind of like ruins your perspective a little bit. But at the same time, it's like that was also the time. It, yeah, so you just don't know what the, how to feel, and kind of overall, you're like, oh, it's, you feel bummed out about it, kind of. Well, I don't know. I like it's. I think it's all about intent, right? Like, Absolutely. You know, it, it, culture changes, language is fluid. It, 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 yeah. It, it, it's 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 kind of hard to explain, but like, I don't know. I, I I feel like if they weren't trying to hurt anyone's feelings 25 years ago, then um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like. I could certainly get in trouble for saying that, you know. Like it's it's just it's it's scary times to make jokes. Yeah, which but at the same time, there's also that weird thing of like the comedian zeitgeist, right? Is like, but we have to make those jokes. It's like, ah, do you though? I don't think you have to. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I I just I just try like uh, I just try to be stupid and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, what for it, for me, it's quote. just comedy. Just what it's it's like. It's not. You're not fucking curing cancer. You're just trying to make people laugh, right? Yeah. So I consider it a challenge. Like if, if somebody's like, hey man, these cause I mean fucking I came up on newgrounds.com where things were a little looser. Yeah. Um and there's a lot of stuff that I said on there that I wouldn't say anymore. And yeah. it's like I don't fucking care. Like I I I welcome the challenge to not make those jokes it, anymore. Right. People, people grow and change, man. Like eat even even grumps like we've been we've been doing it for ten years now like plenty of shit that I I wouldn't say now that I said ten years yeah, ago yeah. like ten years is a long time it, it, yeah and and it's tough for well how how would I put it I suppose it's easier for folks who don't have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hours of their voice being recorded from 10 years ago to right. say like I would never but maybe you did you know <laughs> oh yeah you probably are right now yeah yeah it's, it's, it's hard to know like what's going to be the next because you don't even consider that kind of stuff when you're just living life dude that's yeah. the that's that's the important thing to keep in mind like right now everyone is doing something that 30 years from now someone's gonna look back on and be like <gasps> You know? Yeah. Like, and, and it can be something that you'd never expect. Like, I don't know. You could be, you could have a picture where you're holding a plastic water bottle. And, and people in 30 years would be like, oh my god, this piece of shit. Like, with he, all the plastic in the world, you know, like. You believe in Dasani? What an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, or, you know, it, it's, it's just impossible to know. So, you just, you just do your best as much as you can at any point. And, and hope for the best. I always do my best. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best right now. By I, chugging this delicious monster energy drink. Speaking of, ba <laughs> speaking of basketball, though, I just saw a Book of Mormon. 
for the first time. Oh, how was it? Freaking hilarious. Oh man, I love I, I love I haven't I've never seen the show, but I love the music from it. It's yeah. just so funny. Oh, you yeah. like the album? Yeah. It's it's a very funny show and I mean like the freaking level of performance ability for people on Broadway. Isn't that are, where Josh Gad got his start? It is. It is. Well, I guess where he became like super famous. Yeah. Um and he is I, I've never seen his version of it, but he must be extremely talented if um if he was playing that role because there's a lot of singing and dancing and I don't know. What, what is that role? Um I can't remember his name. Jimmy? Uh Elder Cunningham. Franklin? Have you seen the you're play, just, Aaron? You're just saying names at this point, Aaron? I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'd like it. it. I, I, I was, there was laughter. Yeah, I'm sure I would. I, I, those guys are very funny. It's freaking Trey Parker and Matt Stone. And, and that's the thing, man. Like, when you look at those early South Parks, um, it's, uh, it's crazy to think that, like, these will... The, the people who made this will come to be known as some of the most respected satirists of our generation. <laughs> it's so weird. Just yesterday, I was talking to Susie about the very, like, the Jesus versus Santa. Yeah. You know? Oh, the oh, original, yeah. yeah. Spirit of Christmas. It's just such a fucking wild thing to think back on because I, that was, like, pre-YouTube. Yeah. And I remember... I had to have been like nine or something. And I remember like emailing it to friends. Like, yeah, well, sure. I was like, and yo, check this out. It's fucking crazy. I mean, it was, darn, it was crazy. <laughs> I'm nine. <laughs> I swear I'm nine. Well, also, I mean, like, it, it's. It, it, it pushed the envelope, you know? No one had ever seen anything like that. And that's the funny thing because. When when you look back at stuff that's envelope pushing twenty years later, yeah, the envelope has been pushed way farther, and it's like, wow, this is adorably tame, you know? Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem we have right now. I uh, can't break these. I walls. can't break them because I don't have the screw oh. attack or the uh, the yeah the, the screw attack proper. So we have to like, oh fuck. Just gonna have to. We're gonna have to wing it, wing it, boys. It's okay. Oh, fuck! You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. And by doing it, I mean losing half of your life. <laughs> hey, you did it, though. You did it. What was that? It. Uh, there's one more like treacherous area. Oh, oh my god! For the love of God! <laughs> Try you guys. I swear. Are you gonna be able to fucking guys. deal with it? As completely Pete. I'm completing Complete this. Completely Pete, that's right. Completing as hard as I can. God, I forgot all about completely Pete. How could I? <laughs> he's the he's the completiest. <laughs> oh completely Pete. I feel like completely Pete would be like uh Pete from Goofy Movie. Yeah. Or any like <laughs> Ooh, go, go. <laughs> check the map, go. Completely Pete. <laughs> You know, oh, I just remembered the one more thing I wanted to say about our- the deeper part of our conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the internet has put you in contact with so many more people from different walks of life that, um, oh dear. No, you're fine. That you would have never met otherwise. Oh, absolutely. So, it was- it's- how would I put it? Making jokes at people's, certain people's expense, let's say in the 90s, where you would never meet or come in contact with anyone like that, it's, um, it's more of like an esoteric thing, you know? Yeah. You don't realize that, you know, you're actually hurting people's feelings or anything like that. Totally. It's, you, you just, the more, um, people you come in contact with, the more experiences you can relate to. And, uh, understand and be empathetic towards and that that's something that's a good thing that the internet did yeah um that, i mean are there people who kind of use that in bad faith sure but like not most yeah i i i i don't know if it's the same for you guys but i've been doing this for 10 years as well uh I can't believe I started a year before Game Grumps. It's like so it's it's a mind blow to Dude, me. Dude, internet like, culture is totally different than totally it was. Totally different. Uh, but the thing I the, the hardest lesson I've had to learn is that like I have a harder time trusting folks nowadays. Oh god, of course. And, and not even like other content creators, like you know, if someone 
tweets a photo of a cute dog, I'm like, oh man, what a cute dog. I'll retweet it. And then someone's like, how could you tweet? How could you retweet someone who believes in 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 shojin anime? And it's like, what? I don't, what are you talking about? I've never like, heard of any of this. I don't know. Yeah, what are you talking about? And it's like, how could you? That person ruined anime for everyone and you retweeted a picture of their dog? Like, I can't. Right. I just want to be left alone, man. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. The one, I, the one I can't deal with is like the the people who are like, well, he follows this person, so oh, I'm like, man. what? First of all, I follow like 5,000 people. Yeah. Like, are you really scrubbing my follows to see like who I follow to judge who I'm following? And yeah. second of all, like, you don't know why I follow them. Like, this, and also, I don't, maybe I have them muted. Like, I don't, you have no idea. So, that, that stuff's the stuff that, that really bugs me. And yeah. there's also a tremendous amount of misinformation out there, too. Oh, 100%. So, like, someone, can come at you and say like, did you hear about this with this person? And you're like, I don't know if that's real. Like, I, I fucking how 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 does it, how do you know if that's real? Yeah, it, it's it's really it's it, it's tough, man. It, it's 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 like the wild west out there. Yeah, but it's the the, the thing that's that I think is the, the toughest about right now is that it's like the unified. There's a there's an effort to make like a unified morality amongst like every person when like that's never gonna happen right like yeah. and just just by the very nature of there being like different world cultures but also because like from person to person like you don't you don't talk to your mom the same way you talk to like your drunk uncle Larry who like you don't like very much you know yeah. like it's it's everybody's but you have to consider like when you read something that's written by somebody else, that just automatically you just read it in like this universal voice that's like not at all who that person is. Yeah. That's why we started reading everything in the Dale Gribble voice. Yeah. Because it, it makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Then you're like, oh, this guy sucks. I remember when Aaron <laughs> used to animate. Yeah. <laughs> like, cool, thanks. <laughs> it's just for some reason, you just, in your mind, you assume it's like this very, like, oh, this is a very respectable person that I should be listening to. And then it's like, oh, no, you realize. Yeah. This, that, this, nor, if I knew who this person was and who they're, you know, the kind of things that they believe or whatever, like, I probably wouldn't be listening to them. I yeah. probably wouldn't be giving them the time of day. Maybe yeah. they have an agenda. Yeah. They, you know, they, there's there's a million things. So I, I think at the end of the day, um, you just have to, you have the people who really know you and are actually in your personal life. Yeah. And then just allow yourself to separate that from what you read on the internet. Yeah. You know? I, I, I try to be very forgiving in like opening to everyone that I meet online, or whether it's a creator or a fan or something. But in my older age, I've definitely become a bitter old man. And that like, if someone's like, oh man, I'm such a big fan, the first thing I'll do is like, are you? Like, <laughs> the first thing I'm like, should I be that weird guy and like dig through your tweets and see what you said about me 10 years ago? Like, no. Not, it's not worth it, right? No. But like, a part of me is like, do we really have a real relationship? No, no, because it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, right? It's yeah. not, I'm, I'm such a big fan, is not like, I was with you in the hospital when you were really sick. You That's know? Like, true, it's yeah. Not, <laughs> well, pair, pair of social relationships, it's, it's its own thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the the one the one thing I try to keep in mind is that most people are extremely cool. Yeah. Most people are very very nice and really do have um, empathy and other people's best interests at heart. Totally. At the same time, <laughs> some of the loudest ones are are less than that. One of one of the. I get a, I, it always makes me laugh because there's a bit of sadness to it because it's like real is that uh, I'm friends with so many creators that whenever I like there's there's always that one or two people I meet out there at a, sh at a convention or a live show or something where they're like man I'm such a big fan you're my ninth favorite youtuber and I'm like <laughs> oh thanks and they're like number eight is the game grumps number seven is Matt Pat and it's like, oh, we're gonna go through your top ten right now. Okay, here we go. Like, you just sit there and you're like, okay, cool, thanks. Um, and then you're like, what is it gonna take? <laughs> what do I have to do to get number one? Like, yeah. 
That's what it like feels like in that moment of like. I like I like myself. that hypothetical person. Number eight? Are you kidding? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll t I'll, I'm just happy to be here. Out yeah. of all the creators, uh, as long as, as long as we're beating our friends. Whoa. <laughs> as long as we're better than everyone that we know. Yeah. Because then I have something to talk to them about later. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear? I'm number nine. This guy's uh, number eight. In this guy's list. That's hey. ridiculous. This is all ridiculous. <laughs> is is this Ridley? That's yes. Ridley. Oh, okay. Cool. He looks cool in this one. This is like how I always remember him in my, in my head. Everyone's always uh, like, this is the, the most canonical version of him in my, in my brain. Is really a guy? I always thought really was a girl. Maybe it's a she? I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. I try not, nowadays, I try not to assume gender overall. For, for, for giant monsters? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Know. yeah. I just say he every time there's a giant metal pterodactyl. Cause is, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Doesn't really like a play an egg at one point or something? I have no clue. So, I'm sure it's always the impression that it's really was a girl. It's like the Godzilla thing. It's like, is Godzilla a girl? In the, but no. In the Matthew Broderick the movie. Answers. Oh, is it? That's yeah. right. Well, yeah. all of them are born. They're all born that way, I think, right? All the, like every guy. The ice beam at the last minute, really? Okay. Okay, fantastic. We're still, we still, I still never found the screw attack, but. Perfect. At this point, I don't think we need it. Are you saying screw it? Screw the screw attack? Nice. Screw it? Hell yeah. Ridley is indeed a male. Okay. I don't know right. why. Maybe because of Ripley? You know, that may actually be that why. Makes, that makes the most sense. Yeah. Named it's... after Ridley Scott. Oh, of course. Wow, no kidding. Yeah. That's funny. Never knew that. Ridley I... is also known as the cunning god of death. <laughs> nice. I learned something very important today. This is what they call me too. I was like, Mom, refer to me as the cutting god of death. And she's like, no. And I'm like, Mom! <laughs> you just want to make something cool, Mom. God. God, don't understand me. Did I did I ever tell you about that Disneyland story with the kid? Buzz Lightyear kid? Please do. Where I, I watched like childhood wounds being formed right before me. Oh, no. <laughs> we were just like, we were just like walking out of our car through the driveway or through the parking lot and there was like this family and there was this kid, it was like Halloween and this kid, this kid was dressed up as Buzz Lightyear and he was like, he was all excited and he was like, we're dizzy, yeah! And then, and then he was like, mom, dad, today, call me Buzz! And his mom was like, I'm not calling you Buzz! Oh my god! <laughs> And I was like, no! <laughs> That's <laughs> Buzz, damn it! Like, that fucking kid, I just watched a moment that this kid is gonna remember for the rest of his life. It's He's gonna be talking about in therapy for years. It's tough, man. Like, friggin' parents get so stressed out at Disneyland, and you just see them, and they you're just They just like, got there! <laughs> oh, oh, I thought this was at the end of the day. No! <laughs> okay. They're like getting out of their car, pulling out their fucking backpack and shit. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe they just paid the new parking fees, and that's- Oh, yeah, like, the $70,000. <laughs> If you if you had to tell me, hey Gerard, uh, would you rather uh, you're, you're full up. I don't lo you're... lose a limb or go to Disneyland with your dad? I think I might lose the limb. Wow. Because my dad, my dad just, I he, like a stressful <laughs> Disney dad. The exact opposite. He just would he'd be judging everyone around him in such a weird way, and he'd like expect me to join in. <laughs> Gerard, look at that guy over there. He has a very weird belly. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of you, isn't that weird? <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thanks, Dad. Cool. Yeah, small yeah. World? <laughs> yeah. Small I world? I don't like nice. small- I don't like the children. They're, they're creepy. I don't like this. Okay. Well, Dad, you wanna go to Aladdin? Who's Aladdin? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like what they, they think of Arab people. Like, we're kind of- we fit that box. <laughs> I don't fit in the box. Don't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> what about that guy? Do you like how he fits in a box? <laughs> what, uh, what country is your dad from? Lebanon. Lebanon, wow. Yeah. Uh... Fucking, uh, my dad. I, I have too many stories about my dad, and they're, they're all so legendary. You have a live show. I, I have a live show. I have a live show all about it. Yeah. The Completionist Legacy is all about my relationship with my dad. Middle Eastern dads are the best. They are. They are. Yeah. A lot of a lot of, a lot of trauma. <laughs> sure. But like, yeah. You have to be okay with like settling in with it, you know. Um, but uh, yeah. One of the, like one of the things I'll never forget was <laughs> my dad. My dad like, doesn't like jokes. He's not a very funny guy. He, like, it takes a lot to make him laugh, uh -huh. um, but he loves racial stereotypes. That's like his humor. Yep. And, I, and he's like, oh man, I met the black person one time. Oh, oh you God. have- Oh, dad. You're like, dad, no, you can't say that. Um, but uh, 
you know, whenever anyone does it to him, he's like very offended. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, <laughs> and so, um, whoa, 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 yo, you've gone on. way you too far. You can't say that. Um, but one of the things that, that always made me laugh is like my dad, like in high school, all my, all my friends, they all had like great relationships with their fathers, right? They all like had good, good relationships to the point where like, you know, they go see movies with their parents and, and go hang out and whatnot. My dad doesn't watch movies. He doesn't like sports. Like, hey, it was a screw attack. Um, nice. Hey. He doesn't like any of that stuff. So, and he doesn't even like music. He he's just he just likes business and money and success. Wow. So, uh, you know, I try and like relate to my dad and have some fun jokes, and they never work. <laughs> and on on Father's Day, I was I was. Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Yeah. It's a monster face. Uh, yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It's, I think it's supposed to be like a Ridley. Oh, um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, so on Father's Day one year, I was like, you know what? I think my dad and I have a good relationship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna like do a joke, not like a prank, <laughs> not like a, not like a gotcha dad. Just like a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna try and be funny with my dad. I'm gonna inflict a joke upon this I'm man. Gonna, I'm gonna try and, and be funny with my father, which is a very bold thing to do. When, when nothing is funny to him. Did you tell and, your brother, he's like, oh no, oh no, that's a bad idea. Oh no, I just went for it. I said, oh, I'm gonna go for it. You know, I, I was 18, 19 thinking, hey, this is like, we've been through a lot. We can like have this relationship. And so for Father's Day, I wrote on uh, the, like, a, the Father's Day card for him. I wrote Chuck, because Chuck is like a, you know, a, a nickname for Charles. Yeah. Right. And so my dad, he loves cards. That's his thing. Like, if you're ever like, how do I impress Charles Khalil? You give him like one of those Hallmark cards that always start out with like, dad. Dad, what is the meaning of the word father? <laughs> like he loves those cards. It's his favorite fucking thing. And so I get him, I always get him the best cards because it's his favorite. And so I wrote Chuck on the card. I gave it to him. My dad sees the word Chuck gets so he doesn't even get mad he tears the card into shreds wow puts it in the trash and goes i did not work my entire life for you to call me chuck <laughs> my name is charles and i am your father never do that ever again wow and i was like all right note taken never cool. ever try and have an endearing joke with your father <laughs> hell yeah no problem that's ten thousand dollars of therapy right there yeah absolutely wow. free, free for some of you who can't afford it Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. All right. Whoops. <laughs> Boy, that toxic slime really rises. <laughs> not, not, not in your story. No, I no, mean, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it is. Uh, it, it's tough. That, that's the other thing. Like talking about like humor in general. It, it's very individual. It, it, totally. Hu it, it. That's that's why it's funny when people say like about jokes like that didn't age well. I assure you, almost no no jokes age well. Right. Because not only do they not age well, because things change over time, but they don't travel well now. Right. Like the uh, what's funny here is not funny in a different part of the world. It's not funny to um, different races. It, it's it just it, it humor is this. Um, hard to explain reaction that people have to things that they observe in their surroundings. Yeah. So if the surroundings change, then different things will be found funny. And it's, you just, if you didn't grow up the same, it's, 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 it's tough. Like you see it all the time. Like, um, uh, comedians, some comedians won't bother going to certain countries because they're just like, it won't, the jokes won't land there, so why do it? Yeah. You know? Well, it's also like what you said right earlier, right? Intent is so important. Yep. Um, it's almost like the, it's almost like the context of it all, even though it's content, context not the same as intent. Uh, but it's that same vibe of like, oh, you want to be respectful to the people around you, and if something hurts them that way, you're like, well, that's not what I was trying to do, and that's the thing that at the out of context of it all, right, is always the key factor that we always like forget about. There's there's so many angles to it, you know, because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, you don't want to offend anyone, and at the same time, like humor is extremely important. It's yeah. so important to laugh, and if 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 you if you lose your ability to find humor in most things uh, because of um, your your own sensitivities, you're going to be making life a lot harder for yourself. Yeah, you know, because it's it's such a relief to laugh. You know, just ask Chuck. 
Just ask, <laughs> just ask your dad, Big Chuck. Uh, yes, Chuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I don't know. There's Chuck. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard thing to um, to quantify and to talk about, and it's it's an even harder thing to come to a conclusion on because whatever conclusion you come to will probably change in five years. Absolutely. You know. And also, like, there's. Uh, Time is such is so important that we all are just like, well, you're not the same person you were yesterday, obviously. And the the humor and the things you're into change, right? That's why we don't get mad when someone's like, I used to watch you when I was young, and now I don't anymore. And it's like, yeah. okay, well, your your tastes change. You don't yeah. get mad at that? I get furious. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, stop. And pe sometimes people say that to me, and like in an apologetic way, and I'm like, it's fine, man. It's fine. Like yeah. it, it's totally fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. No, whenever I get that, it's like a threat. Oh. <laughs> Somebody comes at me and they're like, yeah, I used to watch you. <laughs> what now? <laughs> well, I, I take it though, you, you guys have never had a, a, a bad interaction like that in person. With a fan? Yeah. I almost did. Really? And then it turned out he was joking. And I got really disappointed afterwards. Because I was like, oh, wow. Because, like, the thing is, like, you know, everybody knows, like, keyboard warriors, right? Like, you feel safe behind a keyboard, and yeah. then you fucking, in person, it's like, Duh, no, I'm actually a fan. Like, that kind of energy. Yeah. Um, but there was, I was at a con, and, uh, I was, I was in a hurry, but uh, somebody stopped me, and he was like, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was basically like, hey, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really much care for your work. I just, I, I don't find it very funny. And I was like, wow. Cool, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll see you later. I, I kind of want to like ask you questions, but I gotta go pee. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I I went and he's he was gone, and I was like okay, and then I ran into him again, and and I was I was like oh it's it's you, and he was like yeah you know I I just wanted to apologize. I was just trying to be funny. Like I I'm a huge fan actually, and I was just doing a bit, and I was like. Disappointed. I was like, oh, <laughs> I kind of wanted to like talk to you about your thoughts. Yeah. Cause like for you to feel emboldened to like approach me and say, like, hey, I don't think that you're funny and I want to talk about it. That's like that's like kind of interesting to me. Yeah. Um it's not interesting to me. <laughs> I, I like I I don't I don't I don't mean to come across as, as like not caring or anything like that, but like there's nothing I can do. Like the the this show is just us, like, making jokes about whatever comes into our heads when yeah. we play games. And it's always been that, and always will be that. So, to for someone to say I don't like it is just the same as someone saying, like, you're not funny, and in my opinion. And it's like, okay, like, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, right. so, why, why even... Let's talk about something else. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I agree with you also, but I, it just was fast. Well, this was also like, this was like year one or two of Game Grumps, you know? So it was like, it was, I think he was mostly talking about my cartoons. Mm. Um, yeah. But like, in any case, yeah, I, 100%, I'm like, I'm not going to change anything. But like, it was just, it was interesting to me, this idea that like somebody would, would be like, hey, here, here's my opinion. Like, it, it's not, it's, because it's, on the internet, it feels like it has a different context, right? Like, if, totally. you're, if you're posting a comment, it's like, oh, you're just being an asshole. But, like, for somebody to be like, hi, we're two mature adults here. I just have an opinion on your work, and I would like to express it. And it's like, okay, cool, thanks. You know, it's... It's, it's not performative for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> or, or, like, letting something out, you know? It's not like... I don't know, you're, you're some kind of hologram that you're living You know, it's through. funny, I, I've never had that happen to me, but what I have had happen to me is, and this is over the conversations that I, I love having the most with people, is they're like, hey, I'm a fan of your work, I'd love to talk about deeply about this one thing you made. And it just breaks into like a 30 minute conversation about like, you know, pacing and content, or, or like, color theory, and, and, and you're just like, whoa, like what the, and usually, I'm, usually it's like, oh my god, I'm a big fan, sign my copy of Donkey Kong and move on, but this person's like, yeah, let's talk about like the, ma the, the, the Matrix and how they did the graphics for the opening scene. You're like, I, I didn't expect that, uh, which is a weird thing because I've, I've, I'm always, I love having conversations like that. I think Aaron and I talked, uh, we didn't talk about it on Game Grumps, but uh, when we were in Japan a couple years ago, uh, we jo we always talk about how like there's always the people come up and say, "Oh, I'm a big fan," and you're like, "Oh, cool, what do you do?" And they're like, 
oh, I have a job that one person out of like a million has. Yeah. Right? And you're like, right. oh, that's so interesting. Like, I have to go on a train. Bye. And you're like, no, wait, come back. I want to learn more about your crazy yes, cool job. It's happened to me so many times. I'm like, wait, no. Like, I'm more of a fan of them yeah. than yeah. they are of me by the end of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, that, no, no, hold on. <laughs> that's, I want your attention. That's so true. And like, a, a lot of, um, a lot of musicians that I look up to, uh, I've read interviews with them where they're like, honestly, man, the last thing I want to talk about with people is music. Yeah. Like, I, I would, like, if you want to talk about baseball, I'll talk about baseball all day. Yeah. But, like, music is my job. Like, yeah. I do that all day. Um, so. Yeah, that, that's me in wrestling. I can talk wrestling. Video games, I talk all the time for a living, right? But yeah. if you were like, let's talk about the feud between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in 2001. I'm yeah. like, yes, let's do that. I'm gladly. Yeah. I had that. I had that in mind. First of all, I just got a cameo from the Birdman, Coco Beware. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding, he's awesome. That's great. Oh, I remember this. He sucked you off all but one. He edged you, dude. <laughs> what a jerk. Was Sorry, he, what were we gonna say? He's just like sick. He was just like, ew. Why did he- why did he leave you for one energy? Because that- the Metroid remembers us from- uh, Yeah, from isn't Metroid it? Remember that's the good Metroid one. Metroid 2. Uh, Metroid 2, it's a baby. It's the baby. It's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys, it's the baby. <laughs> what the fuck was I gonna say? What were we talking about? Talking about people- The Birdman Coco Beware. Talking oh. about- talking about, like, things we like, or- Oh, yeah. I had that- I had that experience where I was, like, getting on a plane, and somebody was like, Oh, the sequel is about your tutorials. I was like, yeah, cool. And he's like, wanted to get into this super deep discussion right away about, like, tutorials and gaming. He's like, yeah, well, how do you feel about that? And I'm like, oh, man, I'm just- I'm just looking to sleep on this plane. I don't- I don't- I don't really have the mindset to be talking about this right now. They just, like, really want wanted to talk about it. Yeah, like, and I mean, I understand, like, they're excited and... Well, yeah, it's the it, only opportunity and This is the, to... the moment, yeah. yeah I totally get it. it. There's just a disconnect because, and, and it's completely understandable, and I've, I've certainly done it when, on the flip side, when I've been a fan of somebody's. Yeah. It, you forget that they're a real human being, yeah. you know? And, um, that they're not just... Uh, what you see online, um, and, and that they have their own interests in their own life, and it, it's so. If someone thinks you're just one thing, they must think that you think about nothing but that thing. You know? Yeah. This oh. is MB dog. This is MB. We're at the end of the game, guys. Wait, Madre the Brian. Yeah, we're about to beat the game. What? Really? Hell yeah, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, we went go mode. We got everything we needed. I love it. Great the work. Th the only thing we didn't get was uh, one health pellet and then like a bunch of missiles and stuff, but that's a kind of never ending. So. Shit, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa you're getting all gelatinous. Dude. Man. Well. Oh. Hey. <laughs> it turns out it, I was just a brain helmet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this. This was like a, a very serious oh my god moment. It was terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Very scary. Even now I'm like, ugh. It is ugly. I don't think I ever got also, to this it, point it, when I was a child. It's also like Nintendo made this. Like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't didn't Miyamoto like did, he doesn't know. He like, kind of doesn't care. Yeah, like, he doesn't like Metroid that yeah, much. Yeah, he's very much like, I guess, Nintendo. <laughs> so maybe they just got away with a little bit more. He's like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's this fucking disgusting brain on a body. You can't care. do everything. All right, guys? It's on. fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to think about dogs or something. <laughs> what a beautiful rainbow. Yeah, I'm going to make Nintendo. Dogs. Bye, guys. Nintendo. <laughs> well, you're all weakened, bro. <laughs> bro. You're all weakened. Oh, she's gonna do it again. You're like the weekend. You're gonna let that fucker shoot at you. I said, ooh. Oh. This is all scripted. Oh. I'm blinded by the Oh, she's gonna, she gonna eat you, dog. She's drooling and shit. No. It's nice that they added the drool effects. Yeah, right. If only a handsome, disgusting Whoa! creature would come to my aid. Yeah, baby. Mother brain, don't touch my real mother. <laughs> it's got kind of like a turkey body. Kind of, yeah. yeah it's got like the, the kind of... Dude. Like plucked bird. She got a dumper. Man. 
Aaron, take it easy. <laughs> Yo, back that shit up. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm afraid to go to Google and search for more sexy Super Metroid fan art. Oh, come on, Rule 34, uh, Mother Brain. Oh, All right, no. All right, hold well, on. Me too. Hold so on, I'll do it too. <laughs> shout out to the artist that we, um, uh, shout out to the artist that, Dan, you looked at that cake art of Brockemeyer eating cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got, they tweeted at me on Twitter, like, hey, thank you for, uh, for sharing that art or talking about it. It was really sweet. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, people were like, wow, that was really cool. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I'm sorry for the second... Uh, it took me to respond to that. I was looking up Rule 34 Mother Brain and <laughs> regretting it. Yeah. This oh is, my god. This is, this is, and it's not just this Mother Brain. This There's is, also Rule 34 Mother Brain from the Captain N series. This is really oh, bad. No. This is really bad. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. Oh my god. Like, none of it's. And, and let, let's be real, none of it's hot. Nope. <laughs> Usually I would make the joke like, I don't know, maybe in the right mood, like there's no mood for this. Because like, I don't know, I feel like there's a way you could make it hot. Is it is it Geiger-ish? Like, no, it's it's all like, it's, it's all really fetishy. Oh, okay. You know, like, it's, it's, it's the kind of stuff where I'm like, not, not my thing. You know, yeah. you do your thing, but uh, definitely not for me. Oh wait, meanwhile- there's, there's no vanilla mother brain porn, yeah, I guess yeah, is what yeah. I'm saying. While we were looking up unfortunate pornography, Gerard completed the game! Oh, oh Pete, wait, okay, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta leave. You took it all the way to the end, Pete. Oh. Uh, this is such a great part of every Metroid game. Oh, I know. Completely. Leaving as fast as possible. Yeah. Is there a Metroid game that didn't do this? self destruct I don't think so. Uh, I think, if I remember, Other is, M. is Zero Mission kind of, like, faked out with it? Oh, like really? it, it, like, does it, and then it stops it, and then I think this is again at the end. I don't know, they all kind of blend together when you complete 400 plus games, you guys. This is how I feel when I'm trying to leave a party I don't want to be at. <laughs> Hi, man. So, I, yeah, dude, I just before you go, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Dan, come on. Oh, oh, no, please. Let me get your phone number, dude. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yo, I have this no. project I'm working on. If you really, if you. No! <laughs> dude, five minutes of your time, just five minutes, I swear. <laughs> Happy holidays, bye! Uh, yeah. Oh my god. That's why Brent is the master of the Irish goodbye. The Irish, Irish goodbye. goodbye. I've literally, like, seen him walking toward me, turned to my left, look back, and he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, he's like the phantom of the opera. How the hell did you do that? <laughs> Dude, this is very impressive. Oh shit. I, uh, I would be like... Slipping off the controllers because my palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. I'm all about those knees, those knees being heavy. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. My knees are weak, dude. And I gotta pee. And that makes me- I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. Knocks me right off of my feet. Can you feel how your loving makes me weak? See, they wanted that song for this part, but they just couldn't get the rights. Yeah, they couldn't get the rights oh, because yeah, SWV, yeah, yeah. Sisters with Voices, wouldn't uh, yeah. work. That makes sense. Hard with Super Nintendo, though, I feel like they've done it. The Super Nintendo would have definitely been like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, no Shig worries. Shigeru's best friends with sisters. Oh, dude, she, he's like, she I he love sisters with voices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shiggy boom boom, dude. <laughs> I can... Has anyone ever made the getting Shiggy with it joke? I'm sure they have. Whoa. Whoa. Is this, is this wrong? Is this not right? Oh my god! Are we glitching? What the fuck? Are we glitching at the last second? This is new! You got a Ridley tile set over there, what dude. What the fuck? Really? I think I just got game over, but I have never seen this before. Okay, oh, so- Oh, it's like a fatal glitch? I don't know. So, I was trying to save the aliens. This is awesome. Uh, instead, I ran into a Ridley fight. Uh, no way! It's supposed to be here? Yeah, I Oh I've my never, god, I is, love this! This is fucked up. This has never happened before. Looks like you're know. getting put to the test, completely, Pete. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to go after this. Like, That's phenomenal. Well, she's dead. He's dead. Bruh. I keep thinking Just keep jumping. Well, maybe it's because I want to fuck Ridley. Maybe that's what's... But then it shouldn't matter either way. I mean, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> Does it put me in Norfair now? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, I love this. I have to have died. There's no way I beat that boss quick enough in the minute. Well, there's no timer anymore. 
You've just got the crazy music. What the fuck? Bro, I love this. Is this something new they do in the randomizer I just didn't know about? Did you save it? Just get the hell out of here. Out. I killed Ridley instead of saving the animals. Perfect. They'll be fine. I mean, we're gonna find out if we, if we saved him or not. Maybe that was the whole... If you see the dot, that's how we know we saved them. If you see the dot? Yeah. Oh, that's great. You're gonna see a little dot fly away from the from the planet before it blows up. Oh, okay. Or as it's blowing up. On the right-hand side. Boom. There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom! No dot. Wait for it. It's, it's after the, the flare. So we leave- Should we have looked directly into that? <laughs> we Yeah, there's no dot! Wow. Dude, you fucking killed them. You I killed them all because you were selfishly fighting Ridley for the eighth time. <laughs> yeah! Under three hours, not wow, bad. Wow, that's unbelievable. We get to see, uh... Met, uh Samus in her, uh, bikini, I think. Oh. That's what you get for beating under three hours. Is it bikini She's, or is it just the zero suit? It's the zero suit. suit. Oh, okay. But back then it wasn't the zero suit. It was that's what they considered it. Um, that was crazy as fuck. I was not expecting that. It's never happened before. That's, that's a weird. that's a game where Oh, we have our thumbnail and title. There you go. There you a go. never before seen glitch. <laughs> the titles could be Gerard killed a guy with Gerard the completionist. <laughs> Gerard killed all the animals. <laughs> on that's, purpose. That's a... Uh, so... On purpose? We invite our Question murderer friend. <laughs> when and I like a little cartoon of you like wringing your hands or yeah, something. When I was uh, like two or three months into doing The Completionist, I did know about the saving the aliens thing, and everyone online made fun of me for it because I didn't save them. And so that was the joke of like, oh yeah, you're the completionist, but you didn't save the aliens, you asshole. Oh man. Uh, that you was must like, have personitis. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at all these cool folks who programmed this stuff. It's so rad. Oh, okay. That's what I was like. These aren't Nintendo employees. No, no, no. These are all the. Look at this. I think Feasel and Mythical Nine are not. Mm, dude. Mythical. They have oh, they, they even break it down. You spent a half an hour in doors. God, you spent a lot of time aligning doors. Warfare was where we. Red she was only there for 13 minutes, Tori in 10 minutes, okay. Do you think that extra bonus part went to your Norfair time? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I've got a lot of questions. <laughs> you shot 63 charged shots. I hope to have that much in oh, this tells You, you have where, quite a refractory this tells you period. Where, where all the items are. <laughs> oh, oh, neat. Major item locations. So which one's which? Is it like... The spacer was in the reserve yeah, tank? Yeah, the space jump we got from the ice beam one. The speed booster was the bomb. God. X-ray was screw attack. The grapple beam, that's the beam with a, a grape that tastes like an our apple. Total, our total play time was almost four hours. What's the difference between the grappling beam and the grapple beam? I don't know. I think it's the same. It's just weirdly put. One's a grape that tastes like apple, the other's an apple that tastes like grape. Oh, dude. Mm. It's the Applejack conversation all over again. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like Jack. Girl! Don't do it! Oh, Dear Force. Oh! Oh! This is a, uh... Oh not, my not god! Not safe for work, uh... Oh, she put right her hair here. down. Yeah, dude. What a badass. Dude, it's gotta be so sweaty. Like, I don't know. Uh, after, after four hours of being in that I would thing, immediately take a shower. Hottest planet of all time. Mm. There, there's some... Yes. See, as, as an adult who does, like, a lot of, like, athletic stuff now, I'm like... I see beat. that, and I'm immediately like, ugh, like, I just it feels so uncomfortable. It's like, I took all the suit off, and yeah. like, I would just be like, ugh, like, hunched over, and <laughs> where's the shower? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at a girl. Get out of my way! Oh my god, she put her hair down, and it's beautiful. No, it'd be all matted and fucking oily and shit, like, <laughs> hell no. Nah. You know what I just thought of? Mm. One last thing about our larger conversation about humor in general. Yeah. Yeah. Farts are like the one thing that it's universally funny across time and space. Yeah, there's the old, uh, I forget what comedian it was, but he was saying like, he was like, God put us, God put your asshole in between two of the biggest hams on your body, and if you don't <laughs> laugh at a fart joke, you're disrespecting the Lord. <laughs> 
it make it kind of makes sense considering that like fart is fun to say. Yep. It makes a funny noise. It doesn't hurt anyone's feelings. It doesn't hurt anyone's feelings. And it smells bad or funny, depending on who you are. Yeah, yeah. I think it smells hilarious. Bad for me, funny for Aaron. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's... Burps are not funny. Bur yeah. Burps smell Burps like are shit. hilarious to me. Well, burps I... are, I mean, the sound is funny, but the smell is always terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is true. But the farts, the smell could be terrible, but the it could also be funny. Yeah. Burps are never funny. You could it's say, not. if you were, like, building a pyramid of humor, like... Farts are the foundation. Farts are the foundation. Yeah. The, the, the perfect there, It's not even the bottom of the pyramid, it's the thing that holds up the pyramid. It's the whole yeah. pyramid, and yeah. the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, in the Mount Rushmore of humor, farts are all four presidents. <laughs> <laughs> Just fart, Just, fart, Yeah, fart, four fart. clouds yeah. chiseled into stone. That's, that's beautiful. Guys, I'm glad we had this time together. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. This was really yeah, nice. Shout outs to uh, everyone at home who's been super kind to me. I appreciate it. Got a lot of great messages uh, over the last couple months for this. So thank you guys for having me. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Is there anything you want to promote? Um, I complete games every week of my life. Just watch, please. That's all I want. Just come hang out and watch. Where can they watch it? YouTube.com slash that one video gamer. Uh, or you can just search the completionist. Uh, I need to get the URL completely, Pete. Completely, Pete. It just yeah. it just re In redirect. Yeah. If Before no one, this if, episode goes if up, if no one's made the URL, I'll tell my team to get it. That'd be uh, great. Or at least I'll get completelypete.com and I'll have it forward to uh, to the YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, I just did a crazy hard video on Callista Protocol that YouTube age gated. So please go watch it. I would appreciate it. Go check it out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks well, for having me. It, it, it was always a pleasure, dude. You are a wonderful guy, and we love you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'd love to come back anytime. Play any game for you boys. It was fun. Why don't you just come back for every episode and play the games for us now? So yeah. we can just sit back, relax. Actually, I might not even be here. <laughs>